welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something so cool. We're going to be making sea moss. If you follow me on TikTok, you saw that I tried it last month. I tried just eating a tablespoon a day. I felt so many benefits. If you don't know what sea moss is, it's a type of sea algae that contains so many minerals and vitamins that are so good for you. But when you buy it pre-made, it can be a little bit pricey. It's about $50 for a month's worth. So I got it dry. This company, um, Royal St. Louis and Sea Moss, God bless their soul, sent it to me. And if you guys like it or want to try it, you can feel free to use my discount code. I'm going to show you how to make it so you can save on your sea moss and still get to enjoy all the benefits. So let's get started right away. This is the sea moss we're going to be making first. So this is the golden sea moss. They also gave me purple, which is, I believe, full spectrum, and then green, which has chlorophyll in it as well. So we're going to just be making the original sea moss, and I believe this is the, the most affordable kind as well. First, the very first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to clean it. So let's open it up. I don't know if I should make the whole thing or not. Should I? Let's find out first. Let's find out if we should make the whole thing or not. Hold on. I decided that we are just going to make the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so let's open it up. There, it's sealed very tight, so you know it was safe. Let's smell it. It smells really good. I like the smell. I don't know exactly what it smells like, but I really do like the smell. Okay, so here I have with me distilled water and sea moss. We are going to clean it first. So we're going to pop it in this jar. Very dry. Interesting. There we go. Boom. You guys can see. It kind of looks like instant noodles. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean it first. So we're just gonna put some distilled water in there. And just clean the Sea moss, and yes, I wash my hands. Clean the sea moss so that there is nothing, so there's no dirt and debris. We're gonna do this twice. So, because it came dry, you can see it's kind of the water has a little bit of cup of color to it. We're just gonna clean off any dirt that might have, you know, been on our sea moss. Okay guys, now that we have cleaned our sea moss, um, we, we rinsed it two times. We are gonna cover the entire jar with distilled water. And this is, we have to use distilled water, even when I rinsed it, because I didn't wanna mess it up. We're gonna let this soak, completely submerge, for about 24 hours. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. That looks pretty good. So, boom. We're just gonna let her soak and I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, the soaking process is done. This is after 36 hours. You can do 24 to 36, I believe. And now I'm gonna blend it all up and top it off with the water and show you guys. And look at that guys. It is all blended up. Look how much it made. This is the sea moss. I will you put the code in the description, but I just got my back from a shoot. Um, and yeah, I'll put the code in the description for you guys. And if you guys want to use it, it's all made. There we have it all blended up. All we did was drain it and then top it off with distilled water and blend it. That's it.